the Theater Curation Project was born in the spirit of stewardship over the art, craft, and history of the theater. Its purpose is to curate these stories of our mentors and what they passed on to us to be a resource for future generations. Its goal is to preserve these stories and the lessons within them from being lost forever. Greetings. My name is Peter Wilde, and our Jacob has asked me to talk to you today a bit about mentoring. Now, as it happens, I never actually had a mentor. When I started out, we didn't have very much of professional theater at all in the country. No schools that I knew of. I was just a dumb Canadian kid. I knew one thing, I want to be an actor. England has got actors. They've even got theaters. I must go to England. So I went to England. I took with me one telephone number of a person I did not know. So that's how I did it. I got to England. I telephoned that number. Eventually, I got to see the person, a nice young actor who had been at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre Company the previous season. The Bristol Old Vic had sent in their production of Henry V, starring John Neville, and they were performing at the London Old Vic. I took myself to the Waterloo Road and eventually, after several failed tries, I got to meet the production manager of the Bristol Old Vic Theatre Company. I can do nothing for you, says he. There's nothing. The only thing I can think of is possibly if you were willing to come as a stagehand. You'd be doing construction work and so on and cleaning. Nothing to do with the actors. You'd have nothing to do with the actors at all, but you would be in the building. The rest is up to you. Well, thank you very much. My first job in the professional theater was hauling buckets of hot water upstairs out of the boiler room into the rack hay. Out there were a number of theatrical flats that had been painted over and over and over again for different sets. I had to slosh them with the water and scrub them within an inch of their lives so that they would be useful again. I came in the mornings, I was away in the afternoons, and I came back at night. Now I was working with the company, setting up for rehearsal, holding book, learning how to prompt, and generally becoming a part of the company now. Thinnest of thin threads, I began acting tiny parts. And then, years again later, um, Joel Miller and Perry Schneiderman dropped by on their annual audition tour of Canada. Why don't you come and do some teaching? Another thin thread. I've now been teaching for 45 years. I'm a teaching machine. Now I find myself actually thought of as a mentor to many of you. What I can tell you is that I am proud as punch of all the things that you've done. I try to see everything that you do. I follow your, your work. So there it is. Enjoy your tales of mentorship. I wish you the very best of luck in the future. Let us all hope for the time when we can get back where we belong on a real stage with a professional performance and audience in front of us. That's the only way it works. Goodbye for now and good luck to all of you. Please subscribe to our Theatre Curation Project YouTube channel 
to see previous installments and hit the notification bell to be alerted when a new story has been posted.